Hi there! Welcome to the office! I'm Sayer Tanis and I offer coaching services to runners of all levels. I would love to help you reach your goals, to train with purpose and focus, and to enjoy the journey because the journey is the destination. I study race courses in depth to find out what an athlete's going to face on race day. Then I break it down so that they can train specifically for those elements that they're going to have to tackle during their race. And then I can develop very detailed race day plans. This can help you know how you're going to execute the day. It'll take away a lot of the stress, a lot of the anxiety. I want training plans and racing plans to be as unique as each individual runner. Every athlete is so different and I really try to zone in on who that person is and what's going to motivate them, what's going to help them get results, how they're going to find joy in their training. If you're looking at a trail race, a mountain race, a sky race, a road race, I do have experience training for and coaching people for all of these different types of running and distances from 5k up to ultra distances. A coach and athlete relationship has to be built on trust and honesty. I like to have consistent feedback and consistent communication with each individual. I do have background in physical therapy as a physical therapy assistant and that really helps me to design some strength training and other stabilization programs that can help keep athletes injury free or to help them if they're rehabbing from an injury. If you'd like to find out more information how my training plans, my coaching, my race plans might be able to help you be more efficient to reach your goals and to run to your full potential, please contact me. I'd love to talk to you about it. I am very laid back, very open-minded. If you have ideas, I'd love to work with you to make your individual plan and to help you succeed on race day. Training tip from Coach Sayer Tanis. In running, I think a lot of people only are thinking about their legs. They think their legs are powering them, their legs are what's hurting, their legs are going to give out, their legs are what's going to carry them through, and they forget about what their arms and their upper body are doing. So I encourage athletes to really think about what their arms are doing while they're running. Your lower body is going to mirror what your upper body is doing. So if your arms are flailing all around, chances are your legs are also flailing and you're losing a lot of efficiency. On trails, your arms do have to act as counterbalances. You do need them swinging side to side. When you're trying to keep your balance, let's say going downhill or if you're on really technical terrain. Another thing with your arms, it can also help you control your leg speed or your leg turnover. So if you're having difficulty trying to dig out a little more speed from your legs, if you pump your arms faster, your, lo your lower body is going to mirror that. So your legs will also start moving faster. There have been times that I've been running or I've seen others run and they need to just get that little extra speed out and they aren't able to do so just by thinking about their legs alone. I'll think about or encourage the athlete to think, pump your arms faster, faster, and the legs follow and the speed does come with that.